How's it going guys? We are back with our video here and it's time to talk about the week two style icon 3.0 event. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, please make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already on top of this video right now. So here is the event. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Personally, as a whole, I was not a huge fan of this event. These are the five new style icons. Uh, the objectives are the same as well. I know people were asking me about that a lot in my stream. Henrik, are there week two objectives? I don't believe so. I don't think there's going to be. But uh, yeah, Kent Johnson, Jack Eichel, Artemi Panarin, Mikhail Sergachev, and Dominic Hasek. Those are the master set player items. They are uh, 90, uh, 93 overall here. And I mean, they're all right personally, uh, but I'm not a huge fan of this event in general. I'm just not, I'm not. You have the event cards from this week here. You got Mika Zibanejad, Milan Hayduk, Chris Letang, uh, Antropov, Matt Dumba, and Cheevers here. So I mean, it's fine, it's fine cards here, but I don't know, I'm just not crazy about the event as a whole. Um, these cards are still out here. You have some game day cards, which I don't know why they're starting at 84 overall again. I think that's a huge miss again. And then those are the moments cards. So that's kind of it right there for the general content. Let's check out some of the moments here. They released some new moments too. They have Lunar New Year uh, moments, which, okay, I guess. I mean, it's 1K, you get, just, you get thousands of coins. And then finally, power up collectible at the end if you do all of them, three gold players and 4.5K, which is, I guess it's fine. Uh, then you have your style icon moments here, guys. And just pretty much their style icon moments for the players themselves. So you have Kent Johnson has one, right? A mini pack, three gold players, 2K. Jack Eichel has style icons collectible, two gold players, 2K. Uh, style icon collectible, two gold players, 2K. Mini pack, three gold players, 2K. And finally, a premium pack for completing all of the moments. So that's how all the moment shake out. Let's, let's look at some of the packs. Packs are pretty similar to week one. You have your style icons 3.0 starter offer for week number two now. It's 25 items, a guarantee 84 overall power up style icon. 3.0 player on uh, three power up collectibles so those are the odds in the pack 86 plus being 2.1 percent 84 is 100 percent uh, so nothing crazy there you have your elite style icons greater chance offer so it's 10 players with a greater chance of pulling a previously released 93 style icon 3.0 player uh, 86 plus is 18 percent 83 plus 74 percent 90 plus 6.4 percent uh, and then you have the mini style icons 3.0 greater chance offer which is two gold players um which is two better previously chance at three 93 overall style icon 3.0 player. Sorry, I can read for a split second there. A6 plus is 3.8%. Uh, then you have your ultimate style icons 3.0 greater chance choice pack, which is select a total of 15 players over five rounds with a greater chance at pulling a 93 overall style icon 3.0 player from week number two. Here are the odds on it 92 plus 5%, 90 plus 16%, 86 plus is 40%, 83 plus is 98%, and 81 plus is 100%. And then the last but not least, you have your dapper players pack, which is still out, which is 28 players with a guarantee of at least 383 plus players and those are the odds on the pack and they release a new pack today which is the 82 plus overall ultimate choice pack which i did open one of those you'll see that uh, video uploaded soon but those are the odds on it 90 plus 45 percent 86 plus 81 percent so some pretty good odds to at least get a purple card but uh those are all of the packs that are kind of new you have your new year's mega player pack which is pretty much a regular mega player pack and then a flash friday offer which is whatever as well at least 185 plus pack uh, players sorry so nothing nothing too crazy when it comes to that but let's look at some of these sets now and the sets remain very much so the same here guys uh, you have your week one random style icon event player. If you want to trade that or power, wait, what? oh, it's 84 power. Okay, I thought for a second it was an event player. It, they kind of word that weird. They really do 3.0 event player, not MSP. Like it's, it's confusing. It really is guys. But anyway, um, then you have the customization team choice pack, which I don't really, really see the point of that. Uh, and you have your game days, and then here it is, five collectibles if you want to get, say, the Johnson, the Eichel, the Panarin, Sergachev, or Dominic Hasek. So the sets are pretty much the same as usual. It's time to get into the actual players themselves now. Starting off with the Dominator, Dominic Hasek, guys. So you got the Sabres edition or the Red Wings edition here. Uh, I mean, it's just pretty cool. Stats are exactly the same. Abilities are exactly the same, which I kind of think that is not a good thing. I personally think they should have different stats and abilities. That's just my opinion, though. Uh, you guys can let me know if you agree with that or not. But I'm just not a huge fan, personally, of them doing that. Anyway, 
enough of that. He's 6'1", 166, which is a little bit tough for a goalie, but maybe with the new patch, maybe goalies will be a little bit better. Who knows? But he's got uh, defensive boost, speed boost, along with agile or dangler boost, accelerator boost, and playmaking boost. So those are the synergies right now on Hashik. He's got silver light work, silver energizer, silver whirlwind, and then gold contortion, which is, which is pretty good abilities on him. Nothing too crazy, but it's solid here. Uh, but Dominic Hashik for me, guys, is one of the better goalie options, I guess, when it comes to overall. But um, he can try him out. He's small, but he could be decent, maybe. Jack Ayako, who's probably the best one, honestly, of the whole event. And the reason why I say that is, boy, well, 6'2", 207, right-handed centerman. And he's actually got the face-offs to match it now. So he's got 96 face-offs, as you can see. And if you activate defensive boost, he does get up to 99 face-offs. So that's very, very exciting. And that makes his Ayako card that good. 94 speed and 94 acceleration to me is fantastic on Eichel. Uh, his skating animation, I've always mentioned it guys, his custom skating stride is simply unreal. Uh, I absolutely recommend it. He's got silver magnetic, silver make it snappy, silver wheels is tremendous too, and gold unsolvable force. I mean, he's got amazing, amazing abilities here, Eichel. He does. Uh, and to me, absolutely guys, Eichel is one of the best options out there for you uh, when it comes to uh, a right-handed centerman, a right-handed winger. I mean, he can do it really all for you. I mean, he's a great card. He's got sniper forward too. If you want to activate that and still have the face-off boost active, you could also do shooting boost and then cyber forward and have his shot be pretty much maxed uh, and, and kind of say whatever, 96 face-offs is good enough, but Eichel's a tremendous card. I mean, Panarin gets a card here, which is very deserved. I mean, Panarin's an unbelievable player, having an unbelievable year, and he's six foot, 173, right-handed winger here. He's got sniper forward, playmaking forward, along with playmaking boost, shooting boost, and agile or dangler boost. I'd probably activate shooting boost um, and, uh, and cyber forward, I'd say. Probably would be the best ones to go with. Uh, 94 speed and Excel is awesome. He's got silver tape to tape, silver unsolvable force, silver 1T, and finally gold elite edges. So very good abilities on this Panarin card here as well. His hands are max, 99 deking basically, 99 offensive awareness. Everything's 99 except for his hand eyes. So this Panarin card's simply awesome. Ken Johnson here, who, I mean, he's okay. He's a center, but realistically, I would play this guy on the wing. That's really it, honestly. Six foot, 175, left-handed center. He's got sniper forward, playmaking forward, along with playmaking boost, shooting boost, and agile dangler boost here. Uh, 95 excel on speed is pretty good on him. Goal skilled up, though. That's not amazing for me as a gold ability, but it makes sense because that's what he does, right? He's a Michigan's. Uh, tape to tape's okay. It's tricky. Eh. Uh, to elite edges is really nice on him, though. That could be a pretty valuable one to activate. Uh, his hands are gross, obviously. Everything except for passing is maxed out here. Uh, but again, the face-offs are pretty low here, so you got to play him on the wing, no question about it. So if you're okay putting him on the wing and maybe you like him, go for it. He could be a decent card if you play him on the wing. And last but not least, Mikhail Sergachev. Such an unfortunate injury in real life. Hopefully he does recover soon and come back to play because that really was hard to watch. Uh, but Sergachev, 6'1", 217, left-handed defenseman. He's a, a pretty good card here. He's got offensive defenseman, two-way defenseman, along with defensive boost, checking boost, and accelerator boost here. Uh, he's got pretty much maxed out defensive awareness now. If you want to do it with defensive awareness, which I really would. Uh, he's got good abilities. Gold shutdown, tremendous. Silver seeing eye, silver quick pick, and silver send it. 93 speed and acceleration to me is pretty solid on this card here too. Uh, I like Sergeyev a lot to me. He's a good card. Uh, unfortunately, I think in real life he's listed at 6'3". And unfortunately, in Hut, he's listed at 6'1". So that's kind of disappointing. But those are the MSPs. Let me know what you guys think of this event as a whole. Um, it's okay. It's pretty decent. The Ben and Jazz is actually a pretty decent card here too. 93 speed and 92 acceleration. Uh, goalie lead edges, silver beauty backhand, puck on a string, and silver 1T. But as a whole, this event's just... I don't like the recycled events. I really don't, to be honest. I, I like to have, you know, more unique events and be surprised when events come out. So, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan, guys, of, of that. That's kind of a factor. The players are fine, like the choices they, they went with. But I just think in general, they could have done better with this event. And I'm not that really, like, satisfied with it. I think it's a pretty... Pretty eh event. I don't know. I'm kind of ready for the next event already. But he's 6'6", 245, Andropov, and 90 speed. That's actually a pretty decent card there. So let me know what you guys think of the event as a whole, though, in the comments down below. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already. And follow me on Twitch, Henrik. I'm live there every single day. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you get three E's. And be sure to join my Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers to the channel. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.